Welcome. Another video is very simple. Uh, how to remove or replace drive belt or serpentine belt on your engine. Most common is this one. That's the main belt. The other one, secondary, is for your air condition only. But to remove the first one, you need to remove the small one for for the AC. So you need a 16 uh, millimeter socket. Release the tension. Take your AC belt off, and then same socket. Another tensioner. That's it. Your drive belt, belt is off. You can replace it or remove it if you're scrapping the engine or you need the belt, whatever. If you do that, you can check your pulleys. A bit noisy, no lubrication. Sooner or later, they're gonna die. You're gonna have to get new ones. Uh, Sometimes it's easier if it's possible to find just the pulleys just to replace them. I show you uh, how to get to them. S flat screwdriver. Take the cap off. There's a Torx screw, same as this one. Both are the same size. So you don't have to replace whole uh, unit because it's expensive and it's still working because this one is spring loaded. So usually they, they don't fail, but if they do, you need to replace whole unit. If not, you can remove this one or that one and just replace the pulley. That's what I did. In the first video, I showed you how to remove the uh, crank pulley, however, however I didn't uh, I didn't pull it out, I just left it on to show you how to remove these now. So I'm gonna pull it now, just checking. Everything is noisy. Whatever the seller said to me, he replaced the water pump recently, and I think he did. But what's the point replacing a water pump if the car or this engine was running only on water? Because I noticed that when I was rotating the engine, there was only water, which I don't recommend you to use. Uh, I'll try to pull this pulley off to show you more. Should come up easy, but this engine is very unloved. It's coming off slight. So okay, after playing with that for a while, I realized that I need a smaller puller to remove this pulley, also known as vibration damper, because it's actually built from two big parts separated with rubber. On my car, there was no problem with removing this by hand. However, this one seems to be giving resistance. It's off. That's your pulley. 